This week, we take a look at what students and staff are doing to help those in need in our community. Followed by the big annual stage event at South that will make you want to sing along. We have details coming up of Valentine's Day and who in JAG TV is being rejected. These stories and more on this edition of JAG TV. Celebrating 10 years of broadcast excellence, this is the award-winning JAG TV. Hey Jags, welcome to JAG TV. I'm Micah Story. And I'm Abby Jackson. As you've been walking through the halls of South, you might have noticed the big pink signs and the set construction in the theater. Here's Ty to tell us more. Over the last two months, our students here at Booth Springs South have been working long and hard to put together our school musical, Legally Blonde. This year's play is uh, Legally Blonde. It's, a, it's an adaptation of the movie that came out in 2001. It's about Elle Woods. Uh, she's got broken up with and she is trying to find her love again. Uh, she goes to Harvard to follow that love and she discovers herself in the meantime. And that usually comes within like finding herself and loving herself. And uh, by the end, you get a really good ending. Not everything you see happens on stage. The play consists of many backstage producers who put in just as much work as other cast members. Um, what I do backstage is I kind of do damage control, so if something's ripped, if something's broken, if an actor's mic has moved, I kind of help with that, but I also move set pieces, um, I call cues, I basically do a lot of things, but I like being a floater and just helping everybody, so it's just a lot of running around. This year's musical, Legally Blonde, will be taking place from the 27th to the 29th. Make sure to come out and support. This has been Ty Campbell with Jack TV. Thanks, Ty. You can buy tickets by scanning the QR code on the posters around South or buy tickets at the door for $10. As many of you know, courtesy of Senate, we have Spirit Weeks every now and then for festive occasions, and Senate has done an amazing job planning these days for us. Many students show their school spirit by participating. Monday was Comfy Clothes Day, Tuesday Favorite Teams, Wednesday Valentine's Day Decor, Thursday Relationship Status, and Friday Pink Out. We appreciate Senate for planning this for us every year. I know I like showing off my school spirit. Me too. Now let's take a look at what Izzy is cooking up in the Culinary Club. All of those delicious smells at the end of the day are coming from one place, the Culinary Room. With the new kitchens built this summer, the Culinary Pro Start Team can easily practice for their upcoming competition. The girls will have an hour to cook with no running water. Um, they only have gas burners that we have like propane fuel for. They will have to go um, into another room anytime they need to wash their hands and things like that. So they have an hour to make a three course meal. The students will compete in the state event next week in Springfield, Missouri. They've been preparing by doing mock competitions multiple times a week. Personally, I don't necessarily want to make cooking a career. I love cooking. I just like to have it as a trait. But if you were to take this class or the team, this would definitely prepare you for that because you do learn a lot about cooking techniques and restaurants and all these other things like that. Being on the Culinary Pro Star team is a great opportunity to explore the different cultures of food, learn new ways to cook, and become close friends with your team. Trust me when I say the food is so good. You should definitely join this class. I'm Izzy Roberts for JAG TV. Thanks, Izzy. That sounds like a lot of fun. And speaking of food, there are many great places to try out the West Bottoms on the first Friday of every month. Here's Emily with more. First Fridays is a three-day event at the beginning of each month in the historic West Bottoms of Kansas City. Located at the bottom of the 12th Street Bridge, Bella Patina is one of the many stores occupying the buildings that participate in the monthly events. Uh, Bella Patina is a 25,000 square foot retail space where... Um, we are only open three days a month, uh, so it is an event type location. It's mostly a home goods store where you know we get to sell some real unique items here. The space utilizes three floors to display their furniture, antiques, and vendors. I think it's like kind of an adventure. You never know what you're going to find here, so it's just really neat to look around and see all the different stuff. Uh, I come down here a lot for furniture. I just bought a house, so I just like to browse around and find things when we're looking for a desk today. Local Kansas City businesses like the Pink Dinosaur and Shop 96 sell their products on the third floor of the building. So we do have a lot of local makers uh, that sell here as well. I'm also a maker. Um, uh, we have a lot of t-shirt and clothing vendors. We have a lot of, we have candle vendors, uh, a lot of locally curated goods. We try to keep everything as, as you know, hometown as possible. 
Bella Patina's restaurant, The Painted Rooster, is also located on the third floor. As we're heading into the warmer months of the year, First Fridays is a great way to experience historic Kansas City. Make sure to come check it out. I'm Emily Wilson for JAG TV. Looks like a great place to hang out with friends and eat a lot of food. Everyone knows that Valentine's Day is this week, but have you seen classroom doors around South? To get in the Valentine's Day spirit, classes have been decorating their doors in this fun competition. Students are getting creative decorating their fifth hour's doors with the Valentine's theme. The winner of this competition will receive a sweet prize as an award. So start decorating before it ends. Coming up, a club making a difference in the community with bowls of chili. And we'll see how puppies get involved on Valentine's Day, next on Drag TV. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Stephen Perch, at 816-795-6232. What's going on, Jags? It's Nate Mitchell, new co-owner here at Culver's in Blue Springs. Believe it or not, we're celebrating 12 years out here on 7 Highway. We want you guys to come check out our newly renovated dining room. Get yourself one of them famous butter burgers. Well, believe it or not, those things are never started cooking until after you order it. You know what goes perfect with that Culver's Bacon Deluxe is it creates your own concrete mixer, baby. Thanks again for your 12 years of support. Come see us down here at South 7 Highway. Can't wait to see you. Don't let pest control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at killbugsfast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pain relief experts. What does the Blue Springs Chamber of Commerce do? It supports the growth of local businesses. It holds community events, such as Fall Fun Fest. And it helps community members find employment. Blue Springs Chamber of Commerce, building business, growing community. Welcome back, Jags. You may have heard about the exciting basketball game that will be this Friday, but it's mostly because our very own mud throwers have been handcrafting bowls for this night since last year's Bowls for Souls. When you purchase a ticket for the game, you'll get a bowl along with chili to enjoy. We are so proud of the dedication the mud throwers have put into this organization. Now here's Reese with reminders. Hey Jags, let's take a look at what's coming up soon here at South. First off, all students and staff will get a day off the 17th of February for President's Day. Although it'll be a nice opportunity to sleep in, you may want to consider using part of the day to work on any missing homework assignments because the next grade period ends on February the 21st. After that, you've got a lot to look forward to at South when it comes to showcasing students' artistic abilities. First off, there are performances of this year's musical, Legally Blonde, on the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. Shortly after that, you can look forward to the Spring Choir Concert, the Jazz Band Concert, and Mr. Jag, all in the beginning of March. That's all for reminders. I'm Reese Betts. Make sure to stay tuned for Madeline with City, State, and Nation News. Have a great Valentine's Day week. Thanks, Reese. In City News, a local animal shelter will be bringing people the gift of puppy snuggles this Valentine's Day. Great Plains SPCA Pet Adoption Center is offering puppy grams in exchange for a donation to the shelter. Puppy grams are 15 or 30 minutes of puppy time delivered to your loved one by a trained Great Plains volunteer on Valentine's Day. In past years, the puppy grams have been a huge success with an estimated 100 puppy visits and $3,500 raised for the shelter, which are funds very much needed for shelters like Great Plains. Although all the puppy gram time slots for this year are filled, it's a great idea to keep in mind for next year, because who wouldn't want a snuggly surprise to make their Valentine's Day? In state news, a Missouri artist is defying the odds with her Valentine's Day cards. Minda Cox, a woman from Bolivar, Missouri, has always dreamt of becoming an artist ever since she was adopted as a young child, despite the fact that she was born without arms or legs. This has never slowed her down, though. 
Over the years, Minda has not only found a love for it, but she's also become very good at it and considers it the way that she expresses herself. She works a lot with pencil and pen, but what she really loves is painting with watercolor. She says that watching the paint flow and watching it blend can be a really beautiful thing. Now she's painting cards for Valentine's Day with her very distinct goal in mind to remind people that there is love in the world. If you would like to purchase one of Minda's Valentine's Day cards or a bundle, you can reach out to her at minda204 at aol.com or her website, mindacox.net. National news. Love is in the air and with another holiday comes another wave of spending in the United States. Let's check the national averages and see where you stand in Valentine's Day spending compared to other generations. Of 1,485 U.S. adults in relationships, 70% plan to spend money on their partner this Valentine's Day, with the average amount being $152. Millennials definitely take the cake when it comes to spending this Valentine's Day, with their number jumping to an average of $208. That's according to Bankrate's 2020 Valentine's Day survey. Across the country, spending is expected to reach $27.4 billion, up 32% from last year's projection, according to the National Retail Federation. But don't feel pressured by these numbers. Keep in mind that if breaking your bank account doesn't sound like a good idea for you this Valentine's Day, all your loved one really wants this year is your love and that's all for City State Nation. I'm Madeline Padgett, now back to Abby and Micah. Thanks, Madeline. Wow, so many Americans spend so much money on Valentine's Day. So be sure to buy that special someone a gift with a card and show them how much you love them. When we come back, Tristan will give us a quick look into South Sports, and we will see if one of our members of JAG TV can catch a date this Valentine's Day. When JAG TV returns. Hey Jaguars, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. I'm the owner-operator here for the last eight years and we are so glad to be a part of this community, especially Blue Springs South High School. Uh, come see our new, newly renovated dining room. Also, we're going to stay open late on Friday nights to catch you after the football game, so come visit us. Go Jags! Dahlquest Dental has been proudly serving Blue Springs and the community for nearly 40 years. They offer family dentistry to all ages, sedation dentistry, wisdom teeth extractions, and implant surgery. When it comes to insurance, they accept Delta Dental and all PPO insurance plans. And if you're on a very tight budget, payment plans are offered through Care Credit. Find out why so many have trusted Dahlquest Dental for nearly four decades. They're located just off the outer road in Blue Springs. Give us a call or visit us at our website, dolphusdental.com. We'll see you soon. Join Big Frog Custom T-Shirts as they celebrate the Future Leaders T-Shirt Scholarship Program. Here's how it works. Now through March 31st, 2020, each time you order custom-made shirts for Blue Spring schools, clubs, and associations, 10% of the total purchase will help fund grants and scholarships distributed through the Blue Springs Education Foundation. It's a win-win situation. Design your own t-shirt at the area's largest selection of styles and colors, and 10% of the cost goes right back into the Blue Springs Education Foundation. For more information, contact Big Frog at 816-795-1115, or stop by and check out the big store. Big Frog Custom T-Shirts, located just off I-70 in Independence. JAG TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. Welcome back, Jags. Last week, the boys' basketball team headed to Park Hill and picked up a 60-56 conference win. The Jags then hosted Rockers on Friday night. The game went back and forth, but the Jags couldn't hang on to their lead late in the fourth, and Rockers hit a go-ahead jump shot, winning the game 56-55. The boys will host Blue Springs on Friday. The girls' basketball team competed in the North Kansas City Tournament last week. The girls started this tourney last Monday against Harmon High School. The girls started the tournament strong with a 79-12 win. The girls advanced to the championship after beating Lincoln Prep 51 to 47. The girls lost a tight one to Kearney in the championship 45 to 37. They avenged themselves on Monday for senior night beating Sedalia Smith Cotton 58 to 21 advancing to a 16 and 3 record. The girls head to Blue Springs this Thursday night. This weekend the girls swim and dive teams competed at the conference tournament at Gladstone. Anna Zwerink placed third in the 200 freestyle and Malin McLean placed fourth. In the 50 free, Reggie Hector placed third and Kennedy Hector placed fifth. Kelly Lombardo placed fifth in diving. And his rank placed third in the 100 fly. In the 100 free, Reggie Hector placed fourth and Kennedy Hector placed fifth. 
In the 500 free, Malin McLean placed second. And in the 200 free and 400 free relay, Reggie Hecker, Malin McLean, Kennedy Hecker, and Anna Zwerich placed second. Congrats to the girls on a great ending to the season. Last Thursday, we had 15 athletes sign their letters of intent to play athletics at the next level. Congrats to all of our athletes on this big accomplishment. That's all for sports this week. This has been Tristan Harris with JAG TV. Thanks, Tristan. It looks like many students are really passionate about the colleges they chose. And if you like playing video games, the next segment is for you. Here's Jack with a gaming update. Thanks, Abby. A new year means new video games, which is good for me because a lot of relatives that I barely see gave me money for Christmas last year, and I have no idea what to do with it. So, let's get started. If you're still depressed that Iron Man died in Endgame, then don't worry, because Iron Man is coming to PlayStation VR. Don the PlayStation VR headset to suit up as the armored Avenger in an original Iron Man story. Mr. Stark himself is attacked by the mysterious Ghost, a hacker and anti-corporate activist who repurposes old Stark Industries weapons in her efforts to topple his empire. Ghost attacks Stark's corporate locations around the world, and it's up to Iron Man to put a stop to this mysterious villain. Using two PlayStation Move motion controllers, fire up Iron Man's repulsor jets and blast into the skies with an arsenal of iconic Iron Man gear at your fingertips. Now you can forever be in denial about Tony's death and oh no, I'm remembering Endgame, oh no, why'd he have to die? Marvel's Iron Man VR launches on the PlayStation VR on May 15th, 2020. <sighs> okay, that game looks pretty intense. I, I think I need to play a game that's really relaxing. Oh yeah, I'll just play some Animal Crossing. If you're tired of crazy, pointless violence in games that have you blow stuff up every two seconds, then Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch may be just for you. Travel to a deserted island with other animal villagers and spend your time exploring, catching fish, decorating your house, the list goes on. You can also find materials on this island which you can use to create better items to help you enjoy everything your little deserted island has to offer. And you can play with seven other players and all enjoy the peaceful island life together. When Animal Crossing New Horizons comes to the Switch on March 20th, 2020. And that's all for this video game update. I'm Jack Main for Jack TV. That sounds like a great game. By the way, Jack took part in the signing day here at South where students who are athletes signed and committed to play sports at colleges and universities. He signed with Graceland University in Iowa where he will be competing in eSports. He is also the first one in all of the years of South to sign with the University of eSports. Congratulations, Jack. We know that you will do great. To wrap up our Valentine's Day episode, Taylor is helping Brandon find a valentine. Let's see if anyone is interested. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, we're going to try and get Brandon a girlfriend. Let's see how well we can do. All right, do you have a pickup line for my boy Brandon here to get a girlfriend? Yeah, I wish you were cross-eyed so I could see you twice. Excuse me, do you care if I sit here real quick? Good. All right, thank you. You know, I wish I was cross-eyed so I could see you twice. Aw. Uh, was that good? Brandon, hear me out. Are you a library book? Because I've been checking you out. Hi. Are, are you a library book? Because I've been checking you out. Okay. That's that, that's all. That, that's all. You, that's all you're gonna give me. Is it okay? Is that a no? You know me. Oh well. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 excuse me, I, I think I just fell for you, that's unfortunate, hi, um, are you Google, because you're everything I'm, I've been searching for, thank you, okay, okay, I got one, I got one, I got one, um, oh no, if you're from Tennessee, but you're the 10 I see, oh, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? What's his name? Garrett. Oh, all right. You didn't make it up. Thank you for being honest. Hey, bro. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's okay. Better luck next time. You'll find one eventually. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. Follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and at jacktvnews.com. Tune in to JAG TV next week and have a great Valentine's Day.